Dimp Digital presents Idle Game Chat. Hello, apps here from Dimp Digital. Welcome to Idle Game Chat. This is the weekly video games podcast where we give our impressions of the games that you can play today and react to the latest news from the wonderful world of video games. We're here every Monday on your favourite podcast app and YouTube absolutely free. This week, I'm joined once again by the reigning Dimp Digital Gaming Quiz champion. It's Tom Atkins, not Ed Cock. How's it going? Well, I was doing all right. <laughs> Two, I'm now a fucking part-time mechanic. Well, yeah, we were supposed to start this 50 minutes ago, but you had a, a mechanical emergency you had to go and deal with in the pissing rain in the village. And a, I am no mechanic, so that is literally... When I call myself a mechanic, I just push the car and plug the fucking <laughs> jump leads to it. So Push the car on your own, like Hulk? No, I wish. I fucking had to call the cavalry. Young senior, Adkins Senior and Adkins Master had to come and help fucking me out. Hell. Well, <laughs> we're, yeah, not we're, glad it's, home, like. we're glad it's all sorted. You've got yourself a nice <laughs> double punk IPA in your hand, so it might get a bit leery yeah. as the podcast goes on for you. Um, but Cyberpunk 27 is out. Ooh. It's in the wild. It's been it's there. a very Pull noisy. In. It's been a noisy week, isn't it? Fucking hell, it's a very noisy week. The ebb and flow of conversation going backwards and forwards. People comparing screenshots, looking at performance on various platforms, and mm. luckily we do have some hands-on impressions coming the audience's way via your good self. Um, you've yep. been running around Night City with your cock out and ready to give some... <laughs> literally. <laughs> yes, literally. Give some initial impressions on CD Projekt Red's latest piece of work. Perhaps the most hyped game of the year? I don't... I feel yeah. like it kind of is. Cause uh, it's, it's, yeah. I feel like it's breaking more into... Like, there's people that don't normally play games that are going after this. Yeah. That's yeah, that's true. I've, I've seen a couple of people on Facebook buying consoles because of this. Yes, um, yeah. which does baffle me why they haven't done a bundle. They, yeah. they had that deal with Xbox doing that. One X was it? They done the Cyberpunk. Yes. One X. Yeah. Like in six months before it even come out, oh, no. and now they're fucking discontinued. It's, it. it's been a bit of a disaster in the lead up to this, but they finally got it out. Yeah. But yeah, I've just I've noticed people that don't that you haven't played for a while will typically play a bit of Call of Duty. Like Pee Wee was talking about getting it. Of a Bridgie, he's gone off and got it on his on his base PS4, so he might be be suffering. But um, yeah, it's certainly stirred up a lot of conversation and has really kind of broke through some of the barriers that, that a lot of games don't yeah, get through. Yellow Boots is interested. Yellow Boots sniffing. Really What's good. he got? FIFA and Grand Theft Auto. That is as, about as variety as he gets. Yeah, and he's on Xbox One. He's like OG. Yeah, so it'll be a, he'll be having a great time if he gets it. <laughs> to be fair to him, he won't even fuck it. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have a clue if no. it messes the game. That's just very true. Um, sort of, I sort of thought of envy that a little bit. I wish I, my mind was scrubbed of the worries of frame rate and poison, resolution. <laughs> yeah, it sort is. of ignorance is bliss. Other poison coming your way for the audience. Coil Wine Gate gets an update. Um, oh, it does. Atkins has got his PS5 back, so we'll run through that process again and have some results on what Sony have or haven't done. And we will touch on the Game Awards. It might be five minutes. Uh, it won't be for too long. I'm not going to run through all the awards. Even the announcements, I doubt. Well, I'd, I, yeah, we'll just see how it goes with that because it, it's yeah. not... Everyone's chatting about that and, you know, we've we've got more important things to, to get on with. Speaking of which, you can mm. support... Dimp Digital and Idle Game Chat via patreon.com forward slash idle game chat. So you can go there and chuck some money our way. I keep promising there's going to be a Patreon overhaul and I ain't done it yet. But it's getting to that time of year where yeah, a, there might be spare time yeah. to do it. Oh, I was going to say feet up, the year's done. Well, 
That's true, but then I should have some time off work, and because no one can see more than one house or whatever the fucking rule, it's going to be. I have more time than I normally would because I ain't got to be visiting every fucking arsehole from the arse end of everywhere. Not arseholes, your families are. That's cruel to say that, but that's our family, isn't it? Christ. Um, so yeah, may have, may have more time than I I usually have. So that could be done. But it could be feet up. Atkins is right. There's a high possibility yeah. that I'll say I'm been in this year. Get everything in the can we need for the podcast, and then walk away from it until early next year. Um, see how that goes. Right, Cyberpunk 2077. Before Sevens. we Sebins, as it's been dubbed in the Dimp world. <laughs> it, how hyped? What was the sniffometer for this particular game? Well, because it f- it felt like it hit fever pitch, sort of once the E three demo or the E three net sort of reveal the proper yeah. trailer drop. Then they done like a a gameplay walkthrough, and then it's, we've slowly been fed information, and it's been delayed and delayed and delayed. I mean, where yeah. was we at when it come to Thursday morning? Uh, getting old this I mean, well, it's... you weren't getting it Thursday morning. Well, you got stitched up. I'm getting base. it Thursday morning again. Fucking that's the, the rule of fucking this IGC. Anyone that works for IGC gets a fucking day late. Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> for anything they want. Series X a day late, and you got Cyberpunk a day late. And and Spider Man as well. Oh yeah. Two on two on the fucking bounce on the same cut. The only reason I, I went with that company is because they're the cheapest around and now I fucking know why. I'm, I don't know why I'm... Base.com. Don't ever fucking use them. They're useless cunts. I, I must say, I have used them historically and they've been okay, but... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, once you've had that happen a couple of times, you have to walk away from it. it. Um, and I, I, I look on my account yesterday and I ordered Spot Punk in June last year. <laughs> And it was a day late, and then they fucking after I sent them a snotty tweet, and they responded, blamed it on COVID. It's like, wow. right, COVID's last year now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting towards the end of the year. Stop blaming COVID. Um, then they fucking retweet some slag who says, just all, only pre-ordered it on Tuesday, got it day before. Right. I was like, right. <laughs> Could be the posties round so, here. I don't know. What's the trouble with these things? Yeah, but... it's true. We are in the fucking arse end of nowhere, aren't we? You were this. Yeah. You almost went digital at one point. Almost. So yeah. Sorry. So yeah. So my um, hype me. It's been a very roller coaster experience up to launch. Yeah. So. You got the initial. Well, I can remember the fucking original announcement back in what was it, two thousand fucking eight or whatever it was. <laughs> it felt like um, that, yeah. Oh. It felt like that, and I thought, awesome, yeah, this is what I want. Fucking Blade Runner, the game, brilliant. Yeah. Sign me up. Boom. Then Witcher Three comes out, and you think, God, they're still doing that cyberpunk game. Mm. And my hype was at an all-time fucking high. Then they announced it's going to be a first-person shoot, and I was like, right, <laughs> down we go. We don't <laughs> Went like down these FPSs. Done. No, I'm not a big fan of. Well, I'm, I like them, but I prefer third. Yeah. So then start to see the in, the footage and that, and starts going back up again. And then towards the last sort of week, when you started seeing some more footage, and you sort of saw the the issues that they were having, and the weird build up to this game, especially with the reviews, chucking out only PC versions, not a sniff of console footage. Um, and it was like three days before, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. So it. Well, I was gonna say I was. I was still hyped for it on on release day, but certainly there was a lot of concern mm. with what I'd read and seen, or lack of seen, to be fair. Well, they, yeah, because all the impressions, pretty much from Monday onwards, were of the master race. Yeah, and this this which, weren't this weren't being ordered on Master Race, so there's concerns no, setting in. It's been a it's been um, a, a problem in my head. It's going right, what am I going to? And that potato, unfortunately, is not up to scratch anymore. I actually found I should ping it to you actually and see. There's a website you can do type, and it, you type in all your information of your PC, and it tells you what recommend what recommended settings you should have. Right. So I I did that on there, and they recommended medium settings at 1080p and i was like well, right that's not good enough for you <laughs> not good enough for me my old rodney won't take that he can't he can't be dealing with medium so um in my head i said right i know this next gen patch isn't coming till next year 
let's fucking bite the bullet because I've got this pre-ordered for 40 quid a tenner off yeah. which I fucking never bothered so I committed and got it on Xbox um, playing it on the Series X and I thought oh well at least you know it's got that bit of a for in it so it yeah. might be able to boost it and yeah so I went with Xbox and yeah didn't get it on day one so it was like well luckily my PS5 came back that day right so it wasn't too much of a distraction, but yeah, luckily it came on the Friday. Yes. And yeah, I've been playing it since Friday. I've now stuck 10, just over 10 hours in. Okay. So I had a good little suck on the tea of, <laughs> of cyberpunk. And yeah, hit me with your questions. Well, <clears throat> first question, why, is, why was Series X the... I mean, this is the decision you made a year ago. Mm. So was it just purely you was expecting the Series X to... Yeah. Or even the Xbox One? I don't know what you were thinking. Was you thinking... Because it was due to come out yeah. earlier this year. So was it... One, yeah. At that time, I guess, you was thinking One X more powerful than Pro. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what my understanding was. I was I I assumed that it would be that again because I don't know they wouldn't have even released the the details of the new consoles by then, so I wouldn't no, have known it. It would have been on full. it would have been on last gen but assumptions. It would have been assumptions, which they were, and typically now PS Five seems to be out doing Series X. Mm. So, um, but the reason I did choose is because I felt that they seemed to have a little allegiance to Xbox with bringing that console out. There was no PS4 Pro Cyberpunk edition. Um, There's been a lot of marketing from Xbox with Cyberpunk. Um, So I feel like there's a little bit of allegiance there. And that's why I wondered if that's given the edge. And it sounds like after the last Digital Foundry that that might still be the case. Um, but yeah, I decided to go with Xbox um, based on that, really. But yeah, based on last tech, mm. last gen tech. That's what I promised. And fortunately, <clears throat> well, yes, fortunately for us, mm. it's been delayed into next gen coming and we've managed to get hold of the next gen consoles because looking at the footage and the analysis that Digital Foundry have done, them base mm. machines are awful. Like really struggling. Sub I, mean, 30. I mean, the Pro and the X seem okay, but not great. Yeah. And, uh, no. No. And the Series X, you know, it's got better, but it's not nowhere near. You wouldn't call it a perfect game. It's 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 rough in places. Um. So the first thing I did notice was booting it up, and it's a very blurry game. Um. <laughs> a lot of people will say, which is not a good idea. It's it's. I've made it better now, luckily. After a lot of uh, instructions from Sergeant Dimp, uh, yeah. Sergeant Digital Foundry, <laughs> but um, so we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We follow people. Yeah, uh, just regurgitate we, their opinions. That's, that's, <laughs> but Got it written out here, yeah, all of it. Stole it off IGN. Um, oh, my brain's gone dead. Cool. Um, yeah, it was that's it. It was muddy. So it was. <laughs> Yeah, very blurry straight out the box mm. and very choppy frame rates. And I noticed, because cool. what I did was I used this new feature that you can now do on Xbox where you can install the game yeah. without even paying for it. So you just install it and then Pre- obviously yeah. block you can't yeah. play it. So you Usually get in the disc version, what will happen is you just put the disc in and it'll just maybe sync up with it and say, yep, yeah, done. Want, yeah, which I was I shitting myself thinking, if I'm going to, I remember before I'd installed a game on Game Pass that I had on disc. Oh, and I tried to yeah. put a disc in and it went, no, nope, you've got to re- uninstall it and then reinstall it on disc. I was like, oh, fucking man. hell. Or I did it the opposite way. I had it installed in disc and tried to play it on Game Pass. And it was like, no. Nope. Yeah. But it does work like that. So I did that. Sweet. But I think because I did it that way, it wouldn't pick up the newest patches. So I was sitting then on the old fucking, I didn't even get the day one patch. I was oh. like, oh, this is a bit choppy. And then having realised, I was like, oh, it's because I haven't had a patch yet. Um, but yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, basically, yeah, that's my initial thoughts. Are you playing on performance or quality mode? Because the Xbox, unlike the well, PlayStation versions, has two efforts. One, as I understand it, is a, is a 30 FPS cap, but with perhaps cleaner image and the other one's sort of your standard mm. performance mode which takes a bit of the edge off but you're yeah it's aiming for 16 hopefully it's, it's hitting it that, at consistent rates yeah 
so that's what I was mentioning before was a lot of people will say this sort of thing is that you know 1080p between 4k the average person probably won't see that mm. um but I feel like, uh, in probably me and you, like we watch these fucking digital VMG days videos every day. I've never noticed it as much as I do in this game. So right. I've, now that I was playing this performance mode, I think it's about 1080p or just slightly over 1200p. I think yeah. it said maybe. And I, you can tell, you can tell the blurriness, and it's not that sharp, crisp what we used to like. Even on something like Creed, you know, that's a high yeah. resolution there, or Spedans. Yeah. Um, you can tell it's 4K. Well, I instantly could tell straight away that there was a reduction in the res- resolution. I was like, right. Interesting. Um, Especially on that big yeah, fucking well, screen we've got now. That, that's the thing as well, that 55-inch OLED blowing it up and going, cool, <laughs> that muddy old fucking night city. Looks like fucking Wakering that town. <laughs> 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 muddy town of Wakering. So, yeah, but um, I've been... So I've stuck about 10 hours. Probably about five of those hours is probably just fucking walk, like literally not doing a single mission, just walking round and sort mm. of taking screenshots and flipping between the two okay. as much as I've, I've been very much and I know I'm going to stick my tail between my legs and walk off now I've been saying that these new gen consoles 60 is the way mm. and I will never go back well I've been going back to 30 <laughs> like, a, like an old rodent um, so um, yeah was playing a lot of 60 and like I said I can notice it's it was for the most part well at the beginning it was a bit choppy but they've recent patch this is patch 104 mm. which is a recent one unfortunately that's outdated the latest digital foundry video so i'll be interested to see if they do a new one cool, but Richard. i've noticed performance yeah I've, I've noticed that um performance has improved there was an okay. area it's pretty i think you remember it it's, if you go you're walking down like a, a a stairwell and it's like a bit you can see like the sort of city it was like a demo mm. the city sort of moving and then it came up with the actual cyberpunk's uh title screen do you remember that in the yes. game demo yeah. well that area there that was like a pig on in uh what's it called like since this patch um so it would go down to i don't know probably in the 40s i'd imagine if he was walking through there mm. and i could really notice it well since that patch i went back to that area and it was flawless it didn't dip okay. at all so like, cool so that's been nice but because um yeah the settings i was i've been being a sheep and following what digital foundry said i went back to the old quality mode and mm. because you had a little resolution boost you get yes and they've also recommended to cut out a couple of settings film yeah. grain and chromatic aberration That's it, yeah. and it does it does seem to get rid of some of the blurriness mm. um so i've been having an it, at first, once you do go from 60 to 30, obviously, you get that jarring sort of, oh, it feels like it's fucking being slowed down or something. But yeah. I've got to say, with all these sort of features and stuff, after about an hour of gameplay, my mind sort of switches off of it and it just becomes the norm and I'm not so fixated on it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing a bit of that, but every now and again, so I keep switching and then I'll go back to 60 for a little bit and then I start to realise the sort of, the, the sort of uh, resolution dip and that, and I think, right, let's go back to see it. Let's go back to work. <laughs> and yeah, I, but I tell you, I've just been, like, I've been sending them to you, haven't I? I've done, stuck a few on my Twitter, so we'll get them on the IGC. Yes. I spent about an hour or so just, com- I wiped all the HUD off completely. Get rid of that and, crap. And then just been walking around the city, literally walking with my knob out. And. <laughs> uh, yeah, just sort of been screenshotting. I've filled my Xbox Live up with fucking screenshots left, right, and centre, <laughs> trying to do it. And then fucking Clarky's sending me on his fucking ray tracing PC and just blows mine out of the wall. Yeah. Like, right. But I've got to say, a few of the Xbox ones do look all right. Like, they're not, you know, they aren't as good as the PC version, but they certainly are playable and a, a, a slight comparable. Yeah. Has, um, it, been, but, has it been stable? Have you had to do many crashes or I like had a that? couple of freezes. I haven't had a crash. I thought it was going to crash. Yeah. Um, it did, yeah. Every every now and again, I'd get this freeze where, like what it would do on fucking Spider-Man, where it would just crash. Yeah. It did that, and it just sort of freeze and then come back to it. But I've okay. not had any actual crashes. I have had a lot of bugs, though. And right. Some, they're not really game... Uh, did I have one game breaking? I had one where I had to re... 
Oh, I had to. I couldn't get a mission. It sort of told me to go somewhere to meet some bloke, yeah. and the bloke wasn't there. I was like, <laughs> sake. So I was like, right, how am I going to sort this? So I just shot someone, <clears> and all of a sudden it just kicked off a fucking whatever was the next part of the mission. It right. just kicked it off, and he was like, right, kill these. And I was like, oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so I managed to bypass it. But other than that, it's just been sort of funny yeah. um, visual bugs. So I've had guns floating, cigarettes floating, um, <laughs> characters pretending, sitting in like invisible chairs. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been talking about, you know, like in the motion capture, they do this T pose at the end of their... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, thing. yeah. I don't know, I've just done that in real life. I'm doing the T pose now. <laughs> <laughs> um, they, yeah, but apparently characters just do that and you just see them walking about. Um, there's little visual crap bugs like that but yeah i've noticed them quite a plenty yes so on the on the series x would you say if you combine like the performance um yeah. stability the look of it and the bugs is it how i mean what, what do you is it mm. enough to to take your take you out of the experience in you know or is it is it up to standard i guess is what i'm asking or is it a little bit below yeah. what you'd, you'd want or it's, expect yeah it's a little bit below i'd say to anyone who's really I say, this is a difficult thing because me, it's I'm to do with tolerance, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's definitely a tolerance thing, and I'm a bit of a sport brat in where I can't wait. <laughs> so I had to jump, go, jump the gun, and go straight in. If you're really excited for this game and have been willing to really sink your teeth into it, yeah, I would suggest waiting for okay. at least a couple of weeks, maybe yeah. until they get some more patches out. Because it's like I say, after this latest patch, so far so good. The trouble is, I keep saying it's so far so good, and then sort of an hour down the line, something will happen. I think yeah. I remember my initial thoughts. I texted you, didn't I, saying like, "Oh, I played it for about Flawless. an hour, not a sing, not a single bug, and perfect frame rate." And literally, just as I sent that message, a fucking bug appeared. And I was like, "Right." <laughs> <laughs> so some gaming like, gods, I tell you, they, it, they're watching is, and listening. It, it is, but after yeah, ten hours of gameplay, probably about three of those hours were with the latest patch and i've got to say it feels okay at the minute like i say it's still lacking that resolution bump i'd quite like at least you know 1440p or something just so it feels like an upscale 4k yeah because i can tell i'm playing at 1080p here yeah um and i think it's a good look it's a lovely looking game like the just the lighting they use mm. and even though you don't get ray tracing on console the the sort of was it sub screen based for reflections or whatever yeah. they use it's like a baked in thing where that it still look really good yeah and it, like the neons and stuff are really really cool but does it look yeah, as good as say it's hard to say it's because obviously they're all in high resolutions but say let's just say ghosts of tsushima which is like an open world mm-hmm. game is it close to that sort of standard or or is it not even caught with getting on Jin's bollocks nah. there no, it's not. It's it feels like it could. Mm. It's, it's it's weird. You could sort of. I don't know if it's because I've seen the PC it. footage, but it, it you do get this sort of feeling that certainly when I'm playing, I'm just like I can feel how good this would look if it had the added features. Yeah. But because I can tell they're watered down, it's watered down so much that it sort of is a bit like ah. Oh. Yeah. And it's annoying the thing, but so. Uh, yeah, it does. These bugs and stuff do take it out of the what's it called? Out, out of the sort of um, eh, what's the thing? Immersion. Yeah. Um, it takes you out of the immersion, so it, it does hinder the experience a little bit. Like I say, I've not had too many game ba- uh, game breaking bugs where like I've heard people can't finish missions as yeah. one person play the game because they it can't finish. They can't finish the mission. <laughs> but luckily, I've not had anything like that. But the little bugs where you see a bloody character i had one the the, the mission structure you get through like phone calls a bit like gta you yeah. have a character, a character phone you and give you a mission you can go off and do that well one part i had like a mission the mission was like not a cut scene but just a character talking in part of what i was doing then all of a sudden a fucking phone call came through and this woman started talking and it was fucking overlapping what I was already going on in the screen. I was like, right, what's going on here? I hate it. When, I hate dialogue yeah. that overlaps and I hate dialogue that cuts off before 
it yeah. finishes like when you're walking with someone yeah. and they, they it's, and they let you either run too fast yourself which means I've got to manually manage it or even if you walk at the slow pace that they, they restrict your character to and you still reach your destination it trips it off it really uh, it really Creed does that hell of a lot and it gets up my fucking yeah. nose that I have to like manually yeah. sort of manage the, the dialogue for them and also speaking of bugs I had, a, I had a side quest where I was trying to get in a house and I needed a key Key weren't there on the table. <laughs> it, it, it had the marker for it, yeah, but it weren't there. And I was like, I've got this cunt distracted. I need to get in this fucking house. So I, just, I left it and then did a few other missions and come back and, it, and there was like two keys there. And I could do it. And I was like, what on earth is oh, this? But that's just yeah, classic creed so for you. Yeah. So it feels like, yeah, this it just, just the whole overall f- feel of this game it just feels like it needed longer this is a try you know we've had so many delays and i mm. get you know they've got investors fucking waiting on this game yeah. and they had, had to put it out but it just feels like it should have been delayed if they would have said march next year and yeah. it'll come with the um next gen patch on the day yeah. I, t- I probably would have took it to be fair as much as it would have been a fucking smack on the ass but after playing it for 10 hours um now and i, I feel, can feel exactly what it's like now it just feels like it needs extra time to cook um yeah. and then it will be up to scratch because like you say after playing something like ghost of Tsushima, where you know it's a last gen game but it was, you know, it looked fantastic. It ran perfect. Um, and that was on the old gen. So you think, you know, they must have been making this fucking game the same sort of time. Yes. Fucking making it for eight years. And I know, like, this is very, you know, the grand scope of the game, it's so ambitious how big it is. Like, mm. this is just all performance and yeah. sort of technical side of things. And this is nothing to do with the game. The, you know, in terms of the game, it, it's fucking phenomenal what I've played so far. I can really feel to myself that I'm going to sink my teeth into it mm. and, and chug. Like I've, I've not even fucking touched the main story, really. I've spent 10 hours just walking about. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be one of those games that's fucking brilliant, but it just, you know, it just feels like there's just something holding it back and, it's yeah it's it to anyone that like 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 yourself and biff maybe that really want to get stuck into it mm. i think this would be enough to put biff off i think biff would be that right <laughs> yeah and yes that's the thing his tolerance is quite low for this sort of stuff he's yeah like, i'm paying me money why is it coming out of this so it could be curtains for it him feels it feels almost like a fucking well like what i do and buy these fucking um gas games no, oh, yeah. Service where you sort of buy it as a sort of promise, yeah. sort of thing. All oh, right, well, it's a bit shit at launch, but you know they've told me what's coming. The roadmaps out. I'll, I'll oh. go back to exactly. Yeah. Well, I feel like a, it feels a bit like that. I sort of think, well, I know it's buggy and full of shit now, but Witcher was in a similar state, and now look how good you, when that is when you play it now. So I feel like yeah, I, should, don't, so. I just can't. I don't know if my memory's correcting all the shit that I had to go through with The Witcher, but it just doesn't feel like I had that many problems i mean you played it on master race didn't you i which went you straight you... into master race yeah which I, again i don't remember it being too bad um no. the old dl boys were around there so i would have been watching but yeah yeah, it's, uh, yeah so i suppose we just have been we're so clued up on everything now you know yeah. any little user error or any, any little thing, hitch to like oh, that's I it <laughs> That, like that was it in that last video. I was talking about fucking data hitches. I, yeah. I don't even know what that is, but any little hitch, I think, well, that's a data hitch. Yeah. <laughs> you sort of blame it. They're not sending <laughs> salmon. The, the videos of all the popping showing. Yeah, showing well, yeah, that. that's one of the biggest things. Actually, I haven't mentioned that. That the blurriness of the the resolution and stuff yeah. and the popping in this game. This is probably the most aggressive popping I've ever seen. So what? I remember so what I think, I've seen. It looks really egregious in like the Badlands. But is it, is yeah, it bad in the city well, as well? I don't know because because I've gone a different route. I didn't start start in the Badlands. No. So I've I done Street Kid, um, and you literally do is just start off in the city. Yeah. So I've not gone out into the wild wild west, but I want to because it looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah. Um. So I've not seen that, but again in the city, I mean, I was even indoors. Like this game looks and feels best when you're inside an environment. Yeah. When you go outside and the world starts going populated, that's when the old. Uh, performance starts taking a hit but 
indoors, like the first thing I you started off on, um, I was like inside some club or something like that, and I was just literally walking up these stairs, and I could see, you know, NPCs popping in and yeah. posters on the wall popping in. I was like, fuck me, they're like a foot away <laughs> from me. I was like, Jesus. I remember, I think it was Far Cry 3 or 4. Yeah. Where they, they were like little grids, and you could see them phasing in. I, it's free, I remember yeah. thinking, that just really takes you out of the immersion and stuff, but I've got to say, this for popping is possibly the worst popping I've ever ever played on a game. Yeah. So you, I think I think I know the answer to this question, but has it has it grabbed you by the bollards, Dawn? It's difficult because it has. It really has because I like from what, when I'm playing it. This is well, I've been talking to people. When I'm playing it and it's running perfect, it's phenomenal, this game. It just feels perfect. Like, the music when it kicks in. Yeah. The gunplay in this game is brilliant. Like, cool. The, I've heard flat yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I mean, I, I'm not really a connoisseur on first-person shooters, <laughs> but the from what I've played on the game, like, it's just fun to play. Mm. Like, the music that kicks in, it's just that whole... It, perfect the setting is so perfect even the rpg elements in this game like the way you can customize your character make his dick long and small <laughs> um, yeah just that no, but not even that like the cut the, 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 the cus, character customizer is fucking brilliant is up there with like the likes of like smackdown versus raw or whatever cool. we fucking make anyone i've heard that you have to stick with that setting though that you can't go and like shake yes, your head that is, yeah Weird. that's a real annoying cunt i'm hoping they're fix that later down the line That's yeah that is isn't it i love so i love just halfway through the game changing the look yeah especially with like games like red dead and stuff and witcher where yeah. shit would grow on the on the fly it, yeah. Um, but yeah in terms of like what you can make your character look like and then once you're in the game then the clothes and stuff it's it's incredible and the way you can customize your character there's the skill trees here fuck me if you're a fan of skill trees mate there's about 47 of them in here yeah <laughs> talking my language yeah, yeah. all different perks so you can ch- customize your character to any way you can be you could be a fucking balls in fucking bazooka man just running and blast the shit you can be a proper little silent ninja and yeah or you can hack your way in that you really can customize your playthrough and decide whatever your character's going to be you know like the way you talk to people as well there's multiple options in the conversation dialogue you can call you know you could be like a nice person and carry on and go with the grain or you can be a cunt and fucking tell them to shut up and <laughs> hurry up it's also the annoying thing as well is if you leave your control, if you're talking to someone and you put your controller down look at your phone or whatever yeah. they'll start responding to it and they're like what are you doing don't ignore me it's so good but so like i say when it when you take those technical problems out of out of the equation and the game's running and well enough you know like i say there's always that little fucking negativity there that it's not up to scratch but yeah when it's been all right and it's running with and you're just immersed in the world and going through these missions and just sort of getting a feel for it it's yeah it feels like a special game mm. it does so it's a it's a shame because i think if this was up to scratch then this could be in the likes of last of us knocking it off the off the off the perch for the year 2020 but mm. as of right now it's it's just missing that sort of final push it yeah. just did that little bit of polish and it does take it take it away from the experience unfortunately but you spent a lot of time just wandering around the city which is sort of that's what i tend to do in in city based okay. games how does the city this is a bit of a weird question but how does the city feel does it feel alive can you just is, are there just random things that you can get get scraped yeah. into and like what what's yeah. going to happen when people are wandering around this city and if they are just exploring rather than sticking to quests and whatnot are there is there enough there to make you want to actually yeah. just have a little wander rather than you know just mm. objective hunt and follow the missions cool, drop the battery. i think i think red dead was probably the best f- open world um like feeling a city feeling alive do you know what, you, what helped that just quickly is that and i forgot this you could just talk to anyone yes like, and, and yeah. you only had like a, two that, options but yeah. you could say something to them and they would react and yeah like you just can having do that, this, that interaction really helped it 
And you can do that in this, but you don't typically probably about 90% of them. You can only, you only have the one option. Right. So it, you, you can talk to anyone, but yeah, you'll just say something to them. They'll say something back. That's it. Yeah. A couple of them. There was a random NPC on the street and I spoke to him and, and then they it did come up with a, an option and that was it. And then I went off on my merry way. But yeah, I'd say with Red Dead, you know, you just, you'd walk down a thing and something would dynamically happen. There'd be yeah. a fucking, or you'd come across a fucking house and there'd be people in the garden building fucking some lumber thing. <laughs> That's it, yeah. And that would just spawn into a fucking thing. Well, this feels like Ghost of Tsushima's good. Like you had, you had, you didn't have anything like that, but you had sort of people walking around the world. It became a bit sort of repetitive in that sort of thing. Like, you know, you'd walk yeah. down halfway through a field and go, oh, look, there's some bandits there. It's very much a backdrop, isn't it? Rather than a living yeah. world. Yeah. This feels like a, real living breathing world you know Excellent. like there's, there's sort of law in in yeah. the city like you can you'll go to like a restaurant or whatever or just like there'll be like street food and they, you talk to the characters and they give you a little bit of law then there'll be like a fucking pda or little machine that will give you a little bit of information on that sort of thing it just yeah it does it's so um immersive the world just walking around it and seeing p- sort of people just walking the streets talking to each yeah. other then like you say you will just literally i'll walk down a back alley and be like cool there's a strippers <laughs> yeah you think, cool. and there's a geezer on the door and trying to get you to come in or you can can you go in just wander in and... you can yeah there's this oh it's brilliant there's you get places. pissed up you can, yeah. One of the clubs I went into had a whisk and it absolutely rocked me so I hate games and that when they make it go wobbly and I'm yeah. pissed. I'm like, I've only had one whiskey. <laughs> to be know, fair, I've seen you drink sometimes. And... <laughs> yeah, that is true. Probably one whiskey would sort me out. <laughs> um, but yeah, you also just dynamically, there's the gangs in the world and they'll yeah. just be sort of spread around and just you'll see like a couple of gang members like fixing up their motorbikes. You walk past them or something and give them a dirty look and then they're instantly sort of like, cool, well, get out of here, you can <laughs> you, hop, you hang around for two minutes, you get into a firefight with them. Yeah. Um, the police are on the streets. You can choose whether to help them or fucking shoot them yourselves. Cool. You can close so, yeah, it police brutality you take your stance yeah it's up to you um yeah it does i've got to say I, I, so far like I said, i've only played 10 hours so i can't be saying it's better than red dead but mm. it certainly feels on par in terms of what i've seen so far yes. and it, that's one of the best living and breathing worlds of an open world yeah gta was, again gta was but there wasn't the i suppose there was a little bit but there wasn't too much dynamic stuff going on wasn't it It like you had the stranger events but there wouldn't be just little fucking things you could go off and do i suppose take a dog for a walk yeah oh yeah you could do that (laughs) couldn't you um so obviously you only played 10 hours which you know these games are typically two dozen hours at least more more than that 50 some people are expecting have you noticed I mean, you mentioned that you have agency on how you complete objectives, like being silent yeah. or stealthy. But during your quest, have you noticed there being any consequences or changes based on choices that you've made, either in dialogue options or yeah. in at the end of a mission? I don't know. Maybe there's an opportunity to not kill someone. It's just a basic sort of setup that they typically use in games. Like, are you feeling like your choices and what you're saying is mattering, or are you kind of being fired uh, off down the same area? Or is it just too early to even it, speculate? It feels a bit too early to speculate. In terms of dialogue, I get some snotty cow, fucking livid, that I end up like. Oh, to my <laughs> typical go through would be to go in and try and do the whole stealth thing yeah. and then I'll fuck it up halfway through or say someone will see me or I'll get seen by a camera or something like that and then it'll sh- all hell breaks loose. Well, when I do this mission for this specific woman, she'll fucking, she rings up and go, cool, that didn't go to plan, did it? I think, well, fuck you, you cow. <laughs> um, I don't know 
if it typically rewards you for doing it sort of favoring stealth wise right. it may do in terms of loot and stuff like this game if you're a loot hoarder this game is fucking ridiculous yeah There's shit every it, I, obviously it was always gonna but I, I do get huge deus ex vibes from this mm. and i just remember fucking you, you used to be able to pick up anything couldn't you like it feels a bit like a uh, half-life you pick up a fucking cup of coffee or whatever yeah um, this you can or even fall out. I remember picking up yeah, even shitload out. of stuff yeah. like well, fucking bro, coffees that like you said, just rust. Go and yeah. to some idiot that'll buy it, and I'm like, exactly. yep, I'll have the credits. So this, so I've almost filled my fucking weight carrying quote yeah. already. Like just by picking up, I go for a mission, I pick literally everything up. That's You've an instant little... stat upgrade so I... for me. C- carrying yeah. capacity, always look carrying to try and capacity. upgrade that. That's it, and that's one you can. So Good. you'll love it. Good. But yeah, I'm literally picking everything up and then you just go and flog it and fucking... There's so much loot in this game, it's brilliant. But yeah, so I don't know if that's tied to sort of if it favours going through the stealth hacking way. But yeah. like I say, I do struggle. Like, I start off doing it and then it just becomes quite hard to maintain that sort of style of play. Yes. Well, at least I've found. Um, it's hard in first person not, to do stealth. Yeah, it is, because like, I don't know what's in my surroundings. No, nah, it's really and hard. I mean, Dishonored, I struggled a lot trying to get through that, because I wanted yeah. to do that stealthily and not kill anyone on one run. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this is difficult. Well, yeah. the difficult thing as well, every cunt's got fucking cybernetics, so you, yeah. you, like, the, the sort of viewing angles are fucking huge in this. I was hiding behind something the other day, and someone saw me. I was like, right, how's that <laughs> going on here? Because my head was poking out. I was like, that's, a bit, um, that's too realistic. You got fucking cameras. You got to hack doors. Yeah. There's it, it is phenomenal. But yeah, so not sure on rewards, but certainly you get snotty comments if you do go in all guns blazing. They're not happy about that. No, not at all. <laughs> Any, anything else you wanted to mention? Because I've got two sort of final questions to wrap it up. But is there any other bits and pieces uh, that you, you want to touch on? Music has been phenomenal. Yeah. It's a sort of blend of sort of hip hop, this synth wave. It just yeah. feels exactly what you would expect from a cyberpunk, well, a game called Cyberpunk. Yes. It's it's just perfect. Like the look of the characters, the setting of the world, the neons, it all just blends together perfectly. Um, and it does add to the immersion. It's just unfortunate the fucking performance takes you out of that immersion slightly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just like I say, if you can get that sort of shit out of your head and just focus on the core sort of gameplay loop, the sort of core elements, um, and just sink your teeth into it, it's just, it, it is a brilliant game. I just wish it, even drive, driving around feels nice. Like the cars. You know, they're not as good as... It's probably on par with GTA, I'd say. Yeah, it looks it. like that. Actually, having seen some of them, heard of someone else sort of compare it to GTA driving, and then yeah. whether well, that's a good thing or a bad it's thing, not, depending on whether you like that, I guess. But Yeah, so if they're manageable, you, you're not slipping around all the way. Um, and the like, you can do little journeys. It's quite fun. Like There'd be a lot of missions where you'll get in a car with someone yes. and then they'll have their conversation, and then you can choose to either skip ahead or just sit in the car and just sort of take in the scenes as you're being yeah. driven around I've, I've quite done quite a lot um but yeah so yeah just a, a, a nod to the music and then sort of all round setting of the environment to yeah. be honest well, that's that's good news this is a bit might sound like a strange question because actually as we've mentioned the game was uh, developed for last gen consoles initially and then oh, through the through the delays it's kind of come out on next gen as well which i think may have saved it in some cases um does it feel like and because i think what people were kind of expecting is that this was really going to push last mm. gen into next gen and be like oh this is this feels like it's yeah. you know we could be playing next gen already but does it does it feel like a next gen game or a current gen game which keeps saying or does it feel yeah. like a, a last gen game that you you kind of see that yes this is yeah. you know been developed with PS4 and Xbox One in mind it's not it's perhaps not tapping into the full power and I'm, not that I'd expect it to do but I think a lot of people yeah. may have been looking at this as being like a bit of a a breakout in that sense. Yeah, no, I'd probably I'd say no. I say it doesn't feel like a new next gen game. Yeah, it it doesn't sort of innovate. 
mm. a lot, to be honest. It doesn't feel... There's not stuff... Like when I play... I keep comparing it to Red Dead 2 for some reason. I don't, I don't really think about Red Dead when I was playing the settings it, but, are almost identical, uh, Ekin, so I can see why you... <laughs> yeah. You, <laughs> What's his name's rocked up? Fucking... Marston. Uh, John, Marston, Arthur. that's what I was thinking. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. What was his surname? Morgan. Morgan, that was yeah, it. Okay. Arthur Morgan turned up with a fucking pair of sunglasses on. Um, <laughs> no, it... What was I about to say? Um, yeah, innovation. In that, when I played that Red Dead Two for the first time, mm. stuff you could do, just the way the camp worked, having your the, stew, having your stew, writing in your book, doing your daily activities. There was things that happened in that game, and it just felt like an like an innovation that I've never mm. done that before. Like the way you'd skin a fucking character, oh. a, a bloody thing, just that animation yes. of seeing him skin it, and the fucking horror of watching yeah, that really. like. It was excellent, um, though. And the graphics as well. It just sort of, it, you just had that wow factor. I was like, fuck me, this is yeah. this is new and different. This feels like it's on that sort of level, but it's not that, and there's not that innovation. I've not had anything so far. Like, wow, I've never seen that done before. Right. Yeah. This just feels like the sort of perfect RPG that they've just sort of compiled all the best bits of Witcher, the best yep. bits of the new reads the best yep. bits of fucking Deus Ex and sort of amalgamate them all together and then just sort of gone voila there's Cyberpunk chuck it in but Cyberpunk it, setting and... chuck it in Cyberpunk um, so, so yeah having been like, being like that you just it doesn't tip it over the edge for me to be like a next gen like with fucking Spider-Man some of them like dynamic fucking what's it got I know we've seen them in Uncharted 4 and stuff yeah even little bits like that fucking when you're clearing out that mission, um, mm. clearing out them fucking, uh, what they called the, the um, hideouts, yeah. and then you jumped out a fucking window and you were back in the city within a split yeah. second. Yeah. That, I was like, fucking hell, I've never seen that done before, you know, mm. like how dynamic that is. Even that, you know, you've still got loading screens on this game. There's not that sort of next gen push that you would expect from. Where are these loading game... screens? What, on on sevens. Yeah. Yeah. Just, well, whenever I sort of left the building or something. Oh. There was, mission, um, there was like a mission where I went to bed um, and then woke up. There was a little cuts. Uh, there was a what's it called in that? Um, little just little bits here and there. Mm. Yeah. Um, mm. So yeah, it's. It's it's not a huge like it's not uh, loads of cuts uh yeah um, loading screens or stuff but they are there you know okay. they're quick still because they're still using the SSD yes so it's like you're waiting for fucking ages but I don't know it's just yeah it's not got that I've not well unless there's something on later on I've not had that wow factor that I've got from games from other big huge open world games. Yes. And it, I know it's difficult, you know, like what can you I don't know, I say that in fucking GTA and Red Dead do that every time. What can you yeah, add to it? It's all it's it's like those things that you don't really if we knew we would we'd be making our own games, but you when it happens mm. we'll know it. And yeah. it sounds like this isn't quite there, although it's, you know, very good in, in certain aspects, there's still mm. some things that kind of put the line in the sand that it's it's you know, of of last gen kind of design, I guess under under those constraints. Yeah. So, I mean, it's to be expected. Like I said, the reason why I asked it is because I kind of expected that answer, but I wanted to kind of yeah. check. Um, yeah. On on that. Yeah, front, no, but... I wish, like I say, it's more that that wow thing. I just haven't been like fuck. That that's you mm. know that's when you when you get those feelings and you that when you feel that game goes up. So far, it's been more sort of. It, this feels like a really good game in terms of like everything it does. Yes. It just feels like a consistent good game rather than like a, a wow, fuck me, that was impressive. Yeah. Never seen that sort of thing. Yeah, fair enough. A bit like uh, Last of Us. Last of Us 2, you know, there was mm. parts in that game where it was just like, fuck me, I've never seen that. Like, mm-hmm. I suppose a lot of it was obviously in the narrative and stuff, but even still in some of the gameplay segments and stuff, I was like, wow, that is awesome. That really sort of will stick with me. I've not had anything here where I'm just like, fuck when, like when people play this game, that will be the bit that you remember. Yeah. Not had anything like that yet. 
Fair enough. Has all the noise and the poison and all the the chatter that has been coming out since reviews and since, oh, they've been sending out PC only, oh, they're hiding, it runs like shit on every platform. Yeah. Has any of that soured your experience of, of the game? Yeah, I think it has because it's Rodney's fault. It's Rod- <laughs> Rodney, Rodney fucking laps that shit up. <laughs> I'm, blo- I'm not blaming me I'm blaming Rodney my brain <laughs> but it has because if I didn't know that sort of shit like I assume Biff don't really watch well we keep sending it to him so he's already getting yeah, well, the fucking favourite he, he will get it but yeah I think this is the trouble I'm so switched on with any sort of bits of news tidbits and yeah. any I'm it's mine for I'm, tw- I'm fucking you look at my Twitter searches they're all like cyberpunks <laughs> xbox series x and i'm reading fucking people's comments going what's this shit so it is it is all poison and it does because as soon as i read something that's noticed yeah then that will stick in my brain and i'll i'll go back so i think the best option for you too if you're not like me and fuck it out for yourself is just to go in don't listen to any of that shit and just go in and enjoy the experience yeah. because I, it will. I will fixate on it. That's how Rodney works. He laps it up he and then goes it. right. And like I say, this unfortunately, this is the worst part of the game is the yeah. technical side and performance, and that's obviously what's being spoke about. And rightly so, you know, it's not in a good state. You know, luckily, mm. the, you know, the this the version I've got is quote unquote the best playable way of playing the game on console. Yeah. But again, it's still not up to scratch. You're still looking at Creed going, that's running better. Yeah. It's fucking that's fucking Creed. <laughs> that's fucking, yeah, exactly. And that is that is the fucking bread and butter of it. You know, yeah. that is. You, it's been you, interesting because in this, like today, in, in these last couple of hours since we've been recording this, there's um, people have been saying that on the PlayStation Store that people are being offered to receive full refunds um, mm. on digital versions of the game. Um, even if you've gone past like the usual sort of two hour, whatever wow. the restrictions are. So there's clearly, cool. um, there is, well, I saw also with the review, um, like obviously before the, the reviews came out before it was even released. Yeah. Um, I think it was that Hallie Plague, is it? Or whatever her name is, mm. um, that g- gave it a seven out of 10. She sort of was very negative towards it saying that it feels on a uh, half bait. She didn't like a lot of the choices in the game. And, yeah the sort of thing they went for. Well, she got fucking harassed to shit for yeah. giving that review. Now, on the Metacritic, it's sitting at a 65% for user score. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there's been a backlash to it, and she's now sort of on Twitter giving it the big and saying, well, you've slagged me for giving it a 7 I now. I told you so. All, yeah, you're all sort of, yeah, she's literally saying that. So, yeah, the old, um, the old negative... Bastards are, uh, are are hammering it and, it, and it does seem to be. I see. I think I can't remember who it was now. A PC game or something. And they've been talking about sort of the more they play it, the more they're sort of disliking it and yeah. stuff. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not getting that, but I do think that this sort of negativity and the sort of backlash, and rightly so backlash, but this sort of yeah poison, it really does hinder the planet you do need to shut that out completely if you're just looking to enjoy the game for what it is yeah but it's hard to with these days you know no, like, it's impossible if you can't just it is if, yeah if, unless you completely shut off of all social media and nah, it's off the phone isn't it watch it all crash yeah, exactly. and burn well, as it comes yeah. out <laughs> i've got to say i think yeah as much as it does affect it i i think like i say i do lap this shit up <laughs> <laughs> well it, interestingly it's still got a higher metacritic score than last was part two for users so it, it's not hated as, as much as no, naughty dog so it's got a chance of still being <laughs> being up there but it's certainly been a a rocky one um I said I had two more questions. I'll go one last one. Would Go you, and we're not going to ask him for thumbs up asses yet because it's 10 hours, but based on what you've played, would you recommend people who have an Xbox Series X go out and purchase this now? Or should they just hold off because, in theory, the game should just get better and better from the point of where you are it should get yeah. more bugs fixes we've talked about there's a next gen patch that's going to arrive sometime next yeah. year is that would that be the advice or would it be actually jump in and get your cock out and run around night city yeah to be fair in like i said in these the i've played it probably for the last three hours with this new patch yeah and like i say so far it 
based on that... They're listening, you know, them gaming gods. Yeah, they are. <laughs> based on that, I'd say it's felt... Full file corruption coming your way. Much, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared now after that fucking thing. Um, it felt like it's not... It's playable. It's playable. Yeah, okay. It still needs tweaks, but I'm trying to see what I can compare it to. What was there? Has there been a game? That's what I know. Avengers was shit from the get go, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, but certainly it feels like it's it's getting there. It feels right. like it's getting there, which is incredible, really, when you think it's been three days. You know, like yes. three days, and they've already had two patches. It's improved so, it by quite a bit. It's a, yeah, um, but having said that, I'd probably say no. Mm. Don't go out and buy it just yet. If Unless this sort of thing doesn't piss you off, like unless yeah. you don't care and you want to sink your teeth in, it feels like a, you would benefit from this game by waiting. Okay. I, I, I said to you in the group about playing Days Gone. I feel like I benefited so much from playing that game later on yeah. in the year. It was only a few, to, what was it like a few months, wasn't it? Like six to something, yeah. six to eight months. So yeah, six months. I think I played it for about ten hours before went on the release and it didn't hook me then and i think that might have been because of the performance issues yes, and yeah, i just peak. wasn't feeling it and then i think a new game come out and obviously they sold it and then like yeah you and biff had completed it and you spoke more highly of it of than biff obviously <laughs> uh, and <laughs> that gave it. me the infusion to go back and i've got to say yeah i fucking i, I really like that game when i think about it now i really like that game on that ps5 and I think, 60 fps yeah, yeah, I, I, I feel like I want to go back and have another go. And that was so much enhanced by letting it breathe and letting it, they, you know, they added stuff to it to make yeah. it nice. This yeah. just, this does feel like this is going to be a similar case. No the poison same to Witcher, be getting they, in your fucking minds. No, poison will be dead and gone. They won't be talking about it because CD will have would have fucking patched the shit out of it and it'd have been up to scratch. You might, you know, even you wait. For four months or whatever you might even have that next gen patch yeah and they'll be saying oh look how close this is to the 3090 there's people spending thousand (laughs) pounds on graphics cards when you can get the same sort of (laughs) no obviously i'm not i know it's not going to be that good but you know they'll they'll patch it so it's it it at least feels next gen like i said i haven't had that next gen feel yet but that's because i know it's lacking maybe with this new patch might feel a bit special with some ray tracing features they they i can't see that they're going to go back on this now um no. the 60 and 30 modes you imagine getting a new one it's, it still surprises me how that ps5 ain't got it that's why yeah i feel like because well, they made that that one x version this is they're giving this a little special touch yeah maybe they've uh, yeah it's, it's only got the uncapped frame rate version so you won't you can't even choose yeah. fidelity or optimized mode or whatever they call it so interesting yeah. one it'd be it'll be fascinating to watch how the game develops over time and uh yeah. whether the i mean the poison will subside because there'll be more stuff coming down the pipe soon but for now all, all eyes have been on cyberpunk and they probably will be up until the rain to christmas i was gonna say this, this is the difficult thing i'm telling people to not go out and buy it that like, if you can wait wait yeah. because you will benefit from that but having said that there's fuck all really to play if you're a game people like me or you buy typically most most big triple a games that come out and get them done yeah you haven't got really in the pipeline for the next few months no. um ratchet no. maybe when's that i think march is it or february yeah, march be early yeah i mean don't even have a release date so it's going to be no, a few months have... so this could be something to tide you over but like i say if you if if this sort of thing does hinder you, then oh, do try and stick it out and wait, or, wait, wait or get involved. Shit. Get involved in the poison. Yeah, just just embrace <laughs> it. Helping them. Just, yeah, yeah, embrace yeah. it. You're helping the guys. That's what they need. They need people giving them feedback, telling them that shit's broken. <laughs> See it. They, they love it. Not telling them that they kill their families over wow. Twitter. I'll see one. See a developer that put on. He said, "I've got to take some time off Twitter. Lines have been crossed." I was like, "That poor fucker. He's just made a game, <laughs> and someone's probably threatening to kill his parents or kill his kids because yeah. fucking it's slightly not up to scratch." Oh, madness. <laughs> Absolute. Think, that is that is fucking barbaric, isn't it? I'll tell you what is barbaric. Also, is having to send PlayStation 5s back. 
because oh. we're not happy with with noises coming at the back of it. Sony, have they dropped a fucking bollock and there we released go. a broken bit of hardware? So a couple of weeks ago, those that listen regularly know you sent back your PS5 because there was a, a buzzing noise through the research of seven other DIMP members and affiliates. It appeared that everyone had a level of buzz, depending, and it may yeah. have it may have ranged in terms of like slight pitch and and how how noticeable it was. But you yeah. and Rodney decided that you wanted to yeah. test the waters. Phoned up Sony, sent it back. They said we'll have it back to you within two weeks. First of all, yeah. they got it back before Christmas. That's what the like, lovely I Scottish lady did. said. I'll say it. Before I say anything, I've yep. got to say, well done to Blazy, because, yeah, she told me 14 days. Yep. To the day, it was 13 days. There so you go. she Giving you a day so, extra. Yeah. And it helps, because Cyberpunk extra. come a day late, so they've slotted into a nice yeah. slot there where you could jump back on this. It really was. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've got it back. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, do we have we fixed this coil wine slash buzzing, or is there still a uh, a buzzing noise? Have they actually done? Is it actually is it a new PlayStation, or is it the same one? That's so yeah. So that was the that was a concern. She said on the phone that it was going to be a replacement, a direct replacement. I did wonder and thought they because one thing I thought after I sent, it, I thought fucking hell, I ain't put anything in the box to say that like I bought, I didn't put no receipts it's mine. or anything. <laughs> it's Tom Hanks. Yeah. I think they, that's it. I think they must have just known that from the no, hardly no fuckers got them, so yeah. they can't be lying. You know, I ain't got it off the back of a fucking lorry. Well, people are nicking them off the yeah, back of lorries. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so I suppose it's within the first year of manufacturing anyway, so they have to fucking, yeah. every warranty is going to be due, isn't it, I suppose. Um, but anyway, yes. So, um, yeah, they. I got an email to say that it's coming back, and luckily in that email it did tell me that it would be a new serial number, so I oh, did okay. get a completely new unit. Cool. And the final reveal is that sending it back was useless. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was a good bit of research, but unfortunately, I came back. Fucking took me as a horrible. It came like about ten or eleven in the morning, yeah. And I was working all day, so I didn't get to fucking test it until about five, six o'clock at night, yeah. But as soon as I got home, I booted it up straight, straight. Fucking had to restore everything. Oh yeah. I had a couple of issues at first, which I was like, oh, don't be an even worse console. <laughs> um, it wouldn't. My it, the first thing. Oh well, first things first. I tried a different lead. A USB C lead to plug in the controller. It wouldn't take that, so it just wouldn't. You know, when you first set it yes. up, you have to turn the controller on. It just wouldn't take it. Oh, I was like, oh, fuck's sake, is the USB B port broken? Yeah. It turns out you have to use the lead that with is it. supplied with the PlayStation. And oh, then I've modelled all mine up. Fucking yeah. So I was like, I've got the headphones, didn't I? Oh, oh. cool shit. It's annoying, but don't restart your thing. No, secondly, then I won't rebuild the, log- the console. No, do not rebuild. Um, secondly, then I tried to log into my account, and it kept coming up with some DNS server. So it's like <laughs> I think that's hell. when your fucking internet's playing up. I think this was due to Cyberpunk, to be honest. I think it's because every cunt under the sun was trying to download it. <laughs> oh right, yeah, so of course. Jordan, friend of the show, yes. he was down. He downloaded it from scratch. Obviously, no. Uh, pre-install for him no he tried to install it and it took him 15 hours to install <laughs> cyberpunk clean 15 sick, hours clean 15 hours um so yes yeah, so i couldn't install couldn't log into my um, psn so it set up this user just like a guest user account it's like right fuck's sake went through that then once i got into it got the internet working and then logged into my what's it called but then i had the two options like right fucking hell i want to get rid of that user now i've got my one but to then get rid of that user because it was the main user i had to fucking factory reset the oh, ps5 again i was like for fuck's sake eventually turned the internet off turned it back on again and all was well yes um then the elusive was like right here we go booted it up started with astro because that was the first thing that installed oh yes yeah, there isn't it and, boom back in muted the telly and i could hear it again it's not (laughs) anything it's not um i'd I'd like to say it's not as loud but i think it's just where i've 
been listening to the fucking noise so much, yeah. but certainly it's not as egregious. It's um, because I've now I've now put it down lower than oh, it was on my wooden table. Yeah. I've now put it on the floor on a hardback book with a mo- uh, mouse mat underneath it, so that sort of yes. dampens it a little bit. And yeah, it's it's still there. Like I say, I could hear it as soon as I booted up and muted the telly. I could still hear the buzz. I am a hundred percent sure now that there is no such thing as a can whisper silent PS5. Right. Any of you who've been commenting on the channel, thank you for you know. They did. They went mental that. on the on the YouTube they channel. They did. Yeah, it's a good. It was a good thing to do, really. Like. Uh, you know, like it does sort of. It's interesting to hear people's experiences. But you're lying, um, you can't. Yeah, but if there's anyone out there that claims that they haven't got this buzz, they're talking bollocks because <coughs> I've heard people say that and then yeah. they'll fucking put a microphone to it and I can hear it in the background. I said, and go, the, See, that's the fan. I said the same. I right? think it's nothing there. And then yeah. It, 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 well, it was. <laughs> And this is again, like just re- repeating what I said last time. It, it's it's not as bad as as I've made out. It is Rodney fucking going mental. Yes. <laughs> and like I say, if I sit back from my thing, I sit. I do sit relatively close compared to most people. I sit exactly six foot away. Yes. Um, and when I've got that telly up, it, I can't hear it, which no. is a good thing. That I've just got to live and get over it. I have seen one report, and it was a chap I was talking to on ch- Twitter. He um, he had his he bought his PlayStation Five on release. He had the same issue. Coil wine. He said it drove him fucking mad. He actually then went and bought a new one. I don't know how he got a fucking second one off of Amazon. He lives in Mexico. Jesus. But imagine, apparently they've got they, you can get by them over there. Wow. He bought a second. one. He then claimed, uh, you know, he he was with me. He was messaging people saying, "Look, you're claiming it's silent. You're talking bollocks." But he now claims, unless he's fucking gone mental himself, he's now claiming that his first one has magically stopped. Oh. He said, like, it just. He said, I've used it literally every day for the last month. Hmm. That's the thing. We've had these consoles a month now, aren't we? unbelievably. Yeah. He said he used these literally every day for a month, and he said that it seems to have worn like worn away. The more you use it, and I have seen reports of that that coir wine does get better with usage. Yes. Um, so he's claiming his is magically, that was the quote, magically disappeared. And then he said his newest one he bought was fucking loudest thing he's ever heard. He said it was louder than the original. <laughs> so it just sounds like it's, this, is, that's, this is the result of my findings, that they've all got it. It's something you've got to just get on with. And it sounds like over time it will dampen and, or it will just go out of your head. And that's the crux of Wine Gate. There is no fix until they, I don't know what they do. The, the trouble is, is after now having that uh, PS5 disappear for two weeks, I've been left to play that, not left, but I've been, <laughs> I've left. been playing that Series X. And that Series X, as yeah. much as it's got fun to play on it in terms of <laughs> uh, next-gen games and whatnot, that fucking console is whisper quiet. Yeah. I yeah. can't even hear that fan going unless no, I shove me in. It's an incredible bit it. of engineering that is, that little box. It really is. And that's the only sad thing that I think if that can do that for the exact same price, then why has that PlayStation not got, why has it, why has it got this little buzz? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but like I say, you can send it back all you want. You get one back, it's going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, so so don't unless worry. it's really egregious, don't bother is the advice. Yeah. That's the, video, that's the video. I've seen a few videos where it is fuck, it's ten times louder than mine. So yeah. there's obviously defects out there, but I don't think mine was. I think I was just too fixated on it. It probably would have gone away. But I did. I'm quite glad I did it for research because yeah, yeah I've got it back. It sounds the same. It, it's just I've just sort of gone on with it now. And to be honest, I've only played it once since I've got it back, which is <laughs> so we can it's the trouble. Off. Well, yeah. the other, the the other is interesting on... thing is you've actually tried to do a bit of a DIY fix. Yes, um, that was another test. Do you want to today. take take the audience through that on because it it hasn't sold well. You, know, you can tell people if it solved it or not, but you went and tried yeah. a little trick earlier on, which involved opening the bugger up. Was it a worthwhile endeavour? Yeah, well, I found that, that well when I was 
going through this coil wine gate that consumed me. I was looking at every fucking video on the sun and I come under one who claimed to have fixed it. Yeah. And what he done was use these rubber O rings. They're called. You find them in any hardware store. Went down yes. to B and Q today, and yeah, purchased a little pack and quite easily just it's it doesn't break any of your um warranty or anything because it's literally it's how you put the new extendable drive in. But yeah, what you can do is get a little screwdriver, unplug your unscrew your fan, and I put these little rubber washers in between because what he said in the video he said that it was like where the metal was touching metal the other metal of the sort of machine like the inside yes. component that that's where some of the vibration and coil one was coming from well i tried that i opened it up put that in and to my ears it sounded no different whatsoever right so it's i'm not sure where this has come i've seen reports that they reckon this buzz is coming from the actual power supply so it's it's obviously it's nothing to do with the fan i've seen people putting their fingers in the fan stopping the fan so it's nothing to do with the fan it's it could be something to do with this power but yeah unfortunately putting rubber washers in to sort of dampen noises doesn't doesn't do a great deal so another bit of rodney research that come to a a, a failing a failing result unfortunately <laughs> well that's a shame that the old yeah. ps5s ended up like that Hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. those out there don't aren't suffering too much. And it, like I said, if you've got a noisy one, like Atkins has been through the system, it's pretty good. So you'll get it back in the time frames. Yeah, um, but don't be going there expecting to cure it. I guess is the answer. No, and don't it. be opening it up and trying these other things because it doesn't seem to be working nah, either. But. It's not worth it. No, I think you just got to get on with it. Take it for what it is. Unfortunately, like I was saying to you the other day. It, in terms of comparing the consoles, it's like it's certainly it. You know, that I was so hyped up for it. It felt it. It does feel more next gen. You know, in new UI and the design and everything. But when I compare them in terms of this noise, I've certainly had so much more crashes as well on this PlayStation yeah. Five. It's little bits like that that just. And I think, well, why are you buzzing? You shouldn't be buzzing. Like as much as it's, <laughs> it's not you know hindering my well it is hindering my experience but you shouldn't be doing that noise you shouldn't be crashing crashing as much as you are yes um in terms of that that sort of soured my sort of comparison of the two um and yeah so i'm hoping it just gets better over time and i start loving the playstation 5 but i've got to say since day one or day three my ps5 experience has hindered has diminished. Cool. I'm favouring. Yeah. I love that controller. The controller's fucking amazing, but the actual console as a technical... Bit of kit. Being, kit bit of kit. There's something ain't right. It's, it's crashing <laughs> too much. And it's not even like crashing to the dashboard and I can carry on. No. You know, I've had this, I've had this console a day. And the, the first day I played it, I played Spider-Man. It crashed so hard that I couldn't do anything. I couldn't press any button. I couldn't press nothing. I literally had to pull the power lead out the back, turn it back on, and it went, you let it crash, and now I've got to rebuild the database. I was like, for fuck's sake. Yeah. So it's, it's been out a month now. Patch it. Fucking patch it. Fucking patch it, bastards. You know, the trouble is, this is going to be the console that has the better games. We're going to get better fucking games. We've got a great controller with fucking incredible um, haptic feedback. Yeah. Just stop making a buzz at me and stop crashing, and you'll be back on top. (laughs) Yes, well, it'll be interesting to see whether that does solve itself, but I think that will draw to close this chapter of research i think a lot of people out there are are thanking you for the research because we had yeah. tons of comments um coming through the the youtube channel when we put it up as its own separate clip and it seemed like yeah. other people were also getting fixated on it and the people just want to yeah. know whether it's if theirs is broken and, and it sounds that's like it. it's just yeah. how it is unfortunately no nah, that's it no that's what i want to closing thoughts on this for the fans thank you for getting in contact and that but yeah, please don't fixate like I did. It, it's silly too. This is just how the console is. Yeah, it's not a defect. Your console isn't broken. Carry on. Things I'm sure will get better. I know it's annoying, yes. but 
that's just how it is. Yeah, I've, and, and to those that were that were on the video and commented, just a, an apology because I accidentally deleted it the other day. Um, the video. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was uploading a version of one of the podcasts, and then I was like, oh, I was on the wrong channel. Like it was it meant to go on the Idle Game Chat channel, and um, I just deleted the top video, not really looking at it. And then I, I checked, and I was like, where's that fucking core one video gone? Like most successful thing we've done in months, and yeah, I'd, I'd fucking deleted it like a prat. So that's been that's being re-uploaded as we speak. Um, in the background, so apologies for those of you that commented. You remember, Green Smoke was one of the one of the big players there. Oh yeah. So uh, that's was. back up, and you'll probably be listening to this second part also on the on the main Dimp channel as a clip. So yeah. there you go. Right, that's finish right. things off. Jeff Keeley's The Game Awards 2020. 2020, now, just like the fucking year he blows it. He fucking <laughs> blows it. To be fair, I'm impressed they got anything together based on this oh, year. Yeah, to be fair, yeah, I've got to say, after they cancelled E3, you know, yeah. they had no, no fucking hype meter this year. They had no PlayStation experience or any any of that jazz. So yeah, that's off to him. He did actually get an event, and you know, he done, you know, for the most part of of an actual show, it was all right you know he, he'd done his awards and whatnot mm. he had ge- guests on but just it just felt a bit underwhelming this year i don't know obviously it weren't going to be as good no um, in terms of what they had access to but i thought they might you know because with the announcements and stuff that there would be no difference obviously being affected by things but i was just expecting a big and i was expecting a wow a whopper and, a whopper. And Even all, Simon And all King. we got was Vin Diesel in Arc 2. <laughs> <laughs> the past and the pure, furious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Mass Effect, we we knew there was something coming. And, and what was that anyway? Trying... What was that to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. worth anything. I mean, the, the, um, exactly. It was, yeah. I mean, awards-wise... Last of Us won Game of the Year and won the most awards on the night with seven. Um, the yeah. other closest games who got multiple awards was at two, and that was for Among Us, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghosts of Tsushima, and our friend Hades. Um, so I was a bit surprised that Naughty Dog managed to get Game of the Year because I thought the, the poison from you know the the release might have got into it yeah. but then the the way they do these is 90% of the vote weighting is on the critics that they select on the panel yeah. so only 10% of fans get in and actually the fan voted game which i think is called the player's voice um got um ghost of tsushima won that but i was i heard that that's because 4chan set up a Mobilised to stop oh, the last of us getting it. So <laughs> those fucking <laughs> bastards yeah. set up a campaign to stop the last of us winning <laughs> the player. But I don't know if it would have naturally, but they made sure it didn't happen. Um, yeah, silly bastards. Um, so yeah. there's no real sort of surprises there. I think no. I was, last of Us Part Two did win and, and deserved winner. In terms of the announcements, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean the best thing I saw, if I had to mm. pick one thing out. Um, it would be the Castillo, uh, what's it called? Calistio Project? Protocol, sorry. It's a shit name. But the chap who um, did Dead Space, um, oh, Glenn yes, Schofield. Yeah, new, oh, he new said horror that, game, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. And he said it's going to be a narrative-driven, single-player survival horror game. And I'm like, right. And he's the Dead Space guy. He's got... Yeah, from that, and I think that's that. exactly the sort of stuff I like to keep an eye on because everything else really I mean next another Dragon Age official teaser again we've known about that yeah. next Mass Effect ah, go away the initiative <laughs> Microsoft's sort of studio that's, that got formed as a new one that they're doing Perfect Dark um, oh yeah that was Half the people I speak to love Perfect Dark. The other half fucking hate it. So I don't know what to expect from that. Yeah. I, I dabble with it on the N64 uh, all those years mm. back. I mean, if you've got a new oh, studio, not- maybe you should have them do a new game. But, you know, Perfect Dark mm. is an IP that people are familiar with. Um, and then other than uh, that, left, really... Left for dead. That didn't look too Back sad. for Blood. Is it Back for Blood or back. Bad for Blood? I can't remember. Yeah, but, uh, Back for Blood. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So that, Sounds like the sort of spiritual successor. Yeah, and mm, overall, but that, yeah, 
Evil Dead game. Yeah, just very. Adcock might like that. He loves oh, Evil yeah, Dead. Evil Dead. Is that being done by the same people that did the um, Friday the Thirteenth and Predator? Or it's being yeah, done it's just... by Boss Team Games and Saber Interactive. Who? Let's see what Saber's last game was. Oh dear. WWE 2K Battlegrounds. <laughs> oh dear. Oh Christ. World War Z. They co-developed it with. Right. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's milk. Yeah. Interesting to see. It's got, you know, like, seems like more of a cult following that Evil Dead franchise. And then again, that sort of stuff often does well in video game form because yeah, it's all fucking true. nerds like us who are watching it and liking it. So there's, yeah. a, there's a chance. Chance. Sephiroth coming to Smash. That was quite fun, the little trailer. Yeah. I mean, I thought I forgot um, about Smash even existing, but yeah, that's yeah, that's trouble. That's cool, but, but yeah, yeah, it was what it was. Like, I mean, it's, it's a, I think it's about as well. I'm not saying as good as it could have been, but given the situation of 2020, maybe that was the best we could hope for. I actually quite liked that the the format of the show. Like, it didn't feel obviously it was all studio based and whatnot. There was no yeah. live audience, but I actually it felt like things didn't drag as much, even though it was a bloody long show no. again. But it, it, to me, it felt a bit more watchable than some of the times that I'm sitting there watching like a live orchestra. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fucking pulled at the old heartstrings as well, playing that last of us too. So I was like, cool, yeah. depression. Here comes a depression again. Yeah. And then the <laughs> best bit was probably catching Sean Murray sipping his beer as he was announced as, uh, oh, yeah. as, as no man's sky was, announced as the uh was it the best ongoing oh, game yeah yeah even said in that his acceptance piece i just assumed it would be Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really good he does seem like a lad that he just seems so awkward on camera i, I suppose he, like he hates interviews doesn't he yeah <laughs> But yeah, sipping his little beer, and literally the second it was announced, and then almost spat it out, and was like, "Come on, one, <laughs> <won. laughs> epic!" That was probably the best moment of uh, thing. I love that they've made like a little thing now with that geezer. Is it Hayes Light? Is it? Yes, the, what, the geezer Farish, said about yeah. fuck, fuck the Oscars or something. He's got a new game out coming out, and he yes. he's like a little game awards almost mascot. That's it. <laughs> He's all right. Leave him alone. He's just trying to get through yeah. life. But yeah. yeah, that's the Game Awards. I don't think we should drag it out any further. Nah. Had a lot packed yeah. into this episode. Um, so the we've done Games of the Generation. We've done that last week. Um, yeah. If all goes to plan, next week will be the Fantasy Gaming League Fallout. So you hear Paper and Biff kind of give a review of the season and Paper will be eating some humble pie there because as you... <laughs> lot should know by now if you check the socials it was a or even the website which is a great tool it was a, a resounding defeat for him um and he'll be taking on mr chappers the webmaster himself who actually configures all the code for the website so he may well have cheated we don't know he might yeah. have been, he might have been adding siphoning points off to himself here's the thing that's annoying with that as as we as you all know it came down to cyberpunk yes <laughs> I think if they would have done review copies of console games, yeah. that would be sitting at 91. Yeah. I think that I could have won. It would have been a lot closer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was close anyway, but uh, yeah. there was a feeling like that it could drop, and it may well drop as more, because there's only like 40-odd yeah, reviews it, that are there at the moment. Was, that's the thing, yeah. I'm looking at like, uh, what's his name? Phoenix. It's got like 100 and- 50 reviews i think yeah and yeah i think the last time i checked with cyberpunk was about 50 i was like right yeah, there's only nine now? points difference in it so mm. you could see that if that had, if it was base ps4 code going out to people to review it could have been mm. really cool. big oh, drum yeah. so, really? so we should have the full no, I- Go on. I was just going to say congratulations uh, yeah. to uh, Mr. Chappers. He did. I didn't. I've got to say, he's almost like a dark horse. I, was, I wouldn't have uh, pipped him to win the title this year, but no, it's very, always the quiet ones. Very strong. I mean, you started off with four games missing, so you didn't do <laughs> yeah. minus twenty points out the gate. So that weren't that weren't going to no. help you out, but you still managed to get second. Um, but we yeah. have all the stats, all the analysis, all the bits and bobs on. Hopefully next week's show, unless something goes wrong this week, we're due to record that early this this week. So there's that should be in the can, and then we will be finishing up the year if I've got my Mondays right. Uh, yeah we finished up the year of the quiz so that'll be a fun one to end on and then we'll be back in 2021 do another draft um, Agcock's going to share his opinions on Demon Souls he's run through that 
And uh, has he finished it? Yeah, he's finished it now. So we've, cool. we've got some going to get some opinions of him, and that'll be coming early next year. But we want to get the fun stuff out of the way with in terms of the drafts closing off and the quiz, which is a yearly thing that we've been doing for for many a year now. And um, then we'll be back next year for the for the brand new seasons kicking off and seeing what other games people are playing. And it'll be an interesting times, but. As always, if you found us, if you stumbled across us, thank you for listening to the end. We'll be back next Monday here on Idle Game Chat. Nothing more for us to say apart from thanks for your time and ta-da. This was a Dimp Digital production.